very happy, you know, and uh, uh, to be honest, last last couple of days it's been very, very hard for me, you know, very tough. Uh, but I'm really happy that uh, that I resigned uh, and probably I will finish my career here in this club. And uh, I just want to take to thank the Sydney FC club. They give me opportunity to, to finish my career here. Thanks, Steve and uh, Danny Scott and all Sydney FC members. Uh, supporters as well, you know, and CNFC fans, because I've got a lot of messages in the last couple of days, you know, and uh, and I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that everything is done now and I can focus and concentrate uh, on the pitch. When you say it was tough, was it making the decision was tough? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, I never thought that I would leave this club, you know, but uh, on the other side you have I've been five years in this club, you know, so, so many, such a good memories, you know, and uh, uh, I feel like home. And, you, you know, I said many times when I came here first time that uh, I felt like at home, you know, but uh, on the other side, I have my family and uh, I need to look after them, you know. And uh, last week, for the first time, I felt like there is a chance maybe to, to leave the club. And that, that, that why it was, was very hard very tough time for me and uh, but as I said I'm really happy that I am staying in this club you know and uh, uh, we have beautiful group of people un unbelievable players and uh, I really think that the next two years we can win so, so, so many trophies. What was it about uh, the interest from MacArthur that made this such a difficult decision for you? Uh, as you know, they offered me three years deal, you know, and that was, I need, as you know, I want to stay here after my career, you know, and uh, my family is happy, I'm happy, and uh, uh, by the end of the day, I, I always said that I want to stay in Sydney FC, you know, and, uh, but as I said, in some, some times you, you need to, to, to look after your family, you know, and, uh, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, in Sydney FC, I always, I always know that I will, I will fight every year to win the trophies, you know, and uh, that's probably was the reason that that I stay here. Did you ever envisage that you'd become such an iconic player for Sydney FC when you when you moved over all those years ago? Not to be honest, no. Uh, and I said many times when I came here, when I signed first two years deal, I thought, you know, probably I will stay maybe two three years and that's it, but. Uh, probably that's the last, yeah, this is my fifth year, probably the best I ever had in my career, you know. Uh, and really, is I felt like a home, really. First time when I came here, you know, the, the my teammates, the coaching staff, medical staff, the, everyone is just part of my family, you know, and um, I'm so happy that I won so many trophies with the Sydney FC and probably in next, as I said, the next two years I will win more trophies. How does it make you feel when people regard you as one of the best ever players that played in the A-League? Ah, look, <laughs> uh, it's hard to me to 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 speak about about it, you know, because I think if you look at some how many good players play in this league, you know, Del Pierre or York, even Steve Corica, you know, even now you have so many good players, you know, and. Uh, it's nice, you know, when you hear that, but uh, I don't want to speak, if you understand me, I don't want to speak about it, you know. Is, is there an, an option to stay beyond the two years, maybe going to coaching or anything like that? I would like to, to, to stay, you know, I, I don't know, coaching, because at the moment now, if you ask me now, you know, obviously I, I would like to play as long as I can. Uh, but right now, I don't think that I will be good a coach, you know. <laughs> It's too, it's too much stress and uh, and I spend so much time uh, away from my family you know and um, maybe with the kids probably that 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 will be will be good for me but you know as I said I want to, to play long as I can and uh, but I also understand that when you get in my age you, you can't plan anything you know and uh, hopefully I will stay healthy and um, and um, I will play these two years I <laughs> hopefully I think. You've had some pretty good moments in Sky Blue as well. Is there one that stands out for you? Yeah, uh, as I said, you know, the, these 
four or five years been unbelievable, probably the best in my career, you know, and uh, such a good moments I had so far and uh, that's why I said, you know, that's why, because I know that in Sydney FC I will fight every year for the trophies and with the trophies with your teammates, that's the special feeling for me and uh, yeah, as I said, that, that was one of the reasons I, I stay here. Well, you've been part of some pretty special teams. How does this one rank that you're currently part of in terms of the Sydney FC teams you've been a part of? Now look, everyone asks me that, that question, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, if you compare it with the team with three years ago when we broke all these records, you know, uh, it's hard for me to say, but I think you can you can you can give a better better answer. Uh, but I think it's it's a similar team, you know, with such a such a good uh, people in the dressing room and quality players. Uh, but let's. Uh, when we finish the season, then we will know more about it, you know. And uh, but so far, I think, as you know, I think we had the, the best start ever in the A League, and that's that's very good. How's your calf? Yeah, calf uh, calf is good. It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing serious, you know. And uh, and we'll see. Yeah, tomorrow probably I will start to to, to run, and we'll see how it how it's going to be for for Saturday. Yeah. And I just one more, I just wanted, as I said, I, I, I thanks to the Sydney FC and all fans and I just want to, to thank Mekarta Club as well to offer me, to offer me a deal and, uh, and Ante Milicic as well, he's such a good guy and an honest person and um, we had very good conversation in the last, last couple of days and uh, he understood everything and I wish them all the best. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.